Which you can count on begins with local political experts reacting to the second assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump in just two months. Hannah Latier joins us now with more on what they say could be fueling the political violence. Hannah. That's right, Jenny. Dr. Craig Albert, the director of intelligence and security studies at Augusta University, tells me rhetoric on both sides of the aisle could be causing high tension between parties, leading to violence, and the media we consume is adding to it. It is pretty unprecedented to see this type of violence inflicted upon political candidates and against a former president or a presidential candidate two in a couple of months though is just absolutely unheard of. So this is something to be quite aware of. It's quite alarming. Dr. Albert says many messages and propaganda on social and mainstream media platforms are supercharged and hyperpartisan, which can convince some people to enact political violence. It decreases your rationality. So the more you're on social media, the more information you have that makes you angry, your brain, your frontal cortex starts to shrink, you start to become more emotional. That means the more you're on it, it becomes a vicious cycle and to the point where some people are psychologically oriented towards snapping. He says some of this propaganda is distributed on social media by foreign adversaries wanting to create division in the United States. So you have foreign influences on top of domestic extremist influences on both sides. And then when you have the political campaigns that just engage in rhetoric as a normal day or standard operating procedures, if you put that all together, it creates the perfect storm for somebody to want to create violence or enact violence. So what's the solution to this? To stop this is twofold. Is one, to limit our exposure to social media, especially which tends to trigger our emotional responses more than other forms of news like reading you know, uh, newspapers or just watching the news. Two is to, to educate ourselves with a variety of news sources, right? So never just read or watch one or two programs. Make sure you're watching it from across different organizations. And we did reach out for statements from the Richmond County Republican and Democratic parties and are waiting to hear back.